Hey everybody, Dan here from Sherp ET. Unfortunately, we got some more Sherp fixing to do. I ended up, um, I guess, losing the seal in one of the bearings in the rear uh, inside of the Sherp. And I'll show you that here. So, the first thing I gotta do is take this off. Let me pop off the hose clamp. It's right there. Pry off that rubber hose. It could be simple, but she's not. All right, we are one step closer. And you can feel that bearing not being correct. I'm gonna try the unthinkable. Let's see if I can pry that off. I will be absolutely shocked if I can do that. But we'll give it a shot. Alrighty, now the fun begins. So basically I gotta cut like this. And I gotta split this apart in order to get at those bearings to get to that shaft without hitting that shaft. So right there's the outside of it. So we gotta cut that all off. Let's see how she works. Trying to keep the chain. It gets filled with that crap. Not the most pleasant experience. And honestly, it's much easier on this side than there is the other side because there's a hell of a lot more room. Well, the other back side, that is. I don't know about the front. I didn't do that. Well, we're getting one step closer. I got this taken off the outside of the bearing. And you can see how just rusted and just crappy these things get. Unfortunate, but that's Sherpin. Well, we made some progress. A little bit of experience helped too. I was able to pop off the first bearing like inside race that's on there. So what I'm going to do is try to clean all this up and this seal here. Actually, it might even be decent yet. We'll see. And then just get this bearing off. And this bearing actually seems to be absolutely perfect. So I may be able to slide that off. We will see. Try to videotape it, but it's pretty hard to do. But I did get all this part right here sanded. Uh, probably should be done even better yet. But I have one more bearing to get off right there. And honestly, this bearing was probably pretty good, but I've been prying on it so much I pretty much broke it. But I cannot get it to move, so I got to cut her off with that right angle grinder. Now, I'm not sure how good this is going to show up, but we will see. Darn bearing's turning as I'm cutting it. That is not good. Figure a way to stop it, and I'm getting stiff. <laughs> no idea if this is gonna work. I got a big giant screwdriver shoved in the back of it right here, pushing on that with my knee as I cut. I don't 
think it'll crack yet, but we'll give her a shot. Almost there. Well, we got the outer part of the Baron taken off. Now to pop off this thing. I'm hoping I can just press it off. That would be so cool. Looks like it might work. We'll see. We will see. Well, the bearing part is off, which is good, but I still got to get that inner part, which is kind of a pain. That still might pop off there. We're going to hope. We will see. There's actually even grease in this one. So honestly, it seems like the outside ones are the ones that are going to hell first, but I don't know that for sure. I did do the other one, but honestly, I did that uh, not nearly as well as this one because there was just as much room and a number of other reasons. It was my first one. So I just got to grind this off right here. So we ended up getting her cleaned up fairly well. Um... It's a bitch to do it, plain and simple. I just use sandpaper, different grits. Started with 80, the 120, and then 240. Also used files. So the parts have arrived. I did get them from Sherp USA. Uh, this is not like the original one that was installed. It's a little bit different. It's got a different type of boot that goes on. It's all the same size. The, the hose no longer just goes right over the top of that. So hopefully, and then on the inside of here, I don't know if you can see that, it might be pretty hard. Let's see if we can do it like this. If you can see on the inside of here, there's basically a bearing here, a bearing all the way on the inside, and then in between there, there's these three almost gaskety type materials that are designed to stop that... Uh, exhaust from going through there. Coming back over to where the Sherp's at. It's kind of hard to see that. So, I did sand that. Maybe I didn't sand it enough. I guess we're going to find out right now. Honestly, seemed like it was sliding easy. I forgot I'm going to put some grease on that. Smear it around. So let's hope this sucker slides on here. Oh, disappointing. I spent so much time sanding, putting on the bearing again, putting it off again. It was absolute hell. Um, last time it was difficult also, so I thought I'd try the dry ice method. I couldn't think of any other way that I could possibly do it. I used files. I used brushes. I used sandpaper. I didn't really capture all of the sandpaper. It's hard to see. But Well, enough is enough. So we're going to try a new method. And that is using some dry ice and see if I can get that pipe to shrink down a little bit so I can get that bearing on. So the challenge that I'm faced with, I'll take that off, is this bearing will only go on so far and uh, I can't get it on any farther and I can't really pound on it with something um, the outside bearing within everything that's going to go on, I'm very confident that that's going to fit on there, no problem. But I have sanded, and again, there's that, what that's going on. This outside bearing here, it just, it doesn't really hold in there that good. It doesn't have to be really pressed in, which is the same as it happened before, too. So I can only push that on this far. So what I'm going to do then is take that dry ice and I'm going to put that on here hopefully it's going to shrink it down a little bit and additionally 
I also have a heat gun, so I'm going to try to use that last resort on that bearing to try to see if that'll help. Scoop a little bit out, and I will pop some in there. So you can see you're starting to go. Let's see what's going on here, but I'm going to try to do my best. Hopefully you can see this. If not, I can reshoot it later again, I guess. So I'm just going to put it in that tube. Try to. Well, I did get a couple in there. I'm just going to leave it alone for a second and let her cool down and get out of here. There we go. I do have both garage doors open, so there shouldn't be an issue, but... We'll go from there. So I'm just going to plop a couple more pieces in there. And I did turn on a fan try to help again with that starting to go but honestly So I'm going to let that do some magic. Kind of neat watching the old stuff pop out. She is getting cooler, but not significantly. We're gonna let that sit there for a little while. Yeah, I have never done this before. Um, it's honestly taking a lot longer than what I anticipated cooling down. So if I go, I've had it sitting in here for probably a half hour, and I can touch this. I slightly tried to push the bearing on a little bit and it didn't seem to make that much difference, but I'm gonna go and pull push this whole thing on as one unit see if that bearing will stay in I think last time it came out on me too so we'll see and last time when I did it it kind of got stuck up right here and then bloop, all of a sudden it just popped right on it was the greatest feeling in the world but the challenge is with these bearings like this if I get this one like here stuck on halfway, I've got to use a pry bar to come out and i got to make sure that I only hit the outside of that bearing. I don't want to bust that damn thing. That we get lucky. So in a perfect world, that whole thing would push on as one unit. But what happens is that first bearing kind of gets hung up right there. And I was challenged to try to get that any farther on that shaft. Those black things that I'm using are basically inserts from the old bearing that I took off. And I'm using those to pound against so I don't have any impact on that bearing. It, it's just a big pain in the ass and it just takes a lot of levers and a lot of patience. And honestly, sometimes it's best to just walk away and then come back and take another stab at it. But when I used that little bitty ball peen hammer and I whacked against it, that really seemed to help. But we can't forget, the darn thing's cold. Sometimes I heat up that bearing, so you've got to get it done once you start. 
because you don't want it to sit there and stick even more. You kind of also hit the point of no return because if that first bearing doesn't move any farther down that shaft, you got to get that damn thing off again, you know, to make sure that uh, you, you sand it more or whatever the hell you do to try to get it on. The tolerances just are extremely tight. Extremely tight. I guess in a perfect world, what I'd rather do is jack up the sherp and just spin the wheel around. Um, you'd have to take the chain off, but by doing that, you'd be able to get it uh, sanded a lot better, too. I chose not to do that. Well, that is definitely a win, but it's got to go on a little bit more yet. But she's cold. So, if I remember right, I gotta go find that old bracket and then I have to modify it to go back on to here, which you can't probably see from there. Um, so I'll be back with you in a little bit. Well, after some manipulating, I was able to get that bracket back attached to this, but I ended up basically um, drilling out the holes so it could twist a little bit because this side wouldn't hit very well. Much better job than I did last time. Unfortunately, the hose that I got that's supposed to attach is too long. You can see it. It goes way the hell over there. So apparently that's the way they ship the part. Not sure why. But I have to cut it. So I'll mark that and hopefully get it in the right place. Well, I got her back together. I should have cut that a little bit longer, but that's okay. That's done. Hopefully that's going to work. We should be good to go. I think what I'm going to do here quickly is just start it up and I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Uh, I'm in the middle of some other projects here right now, but I guess I'll call it a quits to this video. Kind of go there and we'll assume it's going to work. If not, I will uh, add some more footage. Take care, everyone.